What is up, you guys? It is Eric from the Anabolic Aliens. Today, I'm here to bring you five exercises for your bicep peak, aka the long head of your bicep or the outermost part of your bicep, the second head. So first up on the list, we have the elevation curl, and it is performed on a cable lat pull-down machine. You are actually going to sit backwards on this machine. What you do is walk up to it and that back rest that usually holds your knees, you're going to pull all the way up to the top to perform as a back rest so you can perform this exercise. You will start by grabbing a single cable from the top part of the machine. You will reach your arm up almost parallel with the ceiling while keeping your elbow slightly tucked as you curl the weight down to the back of your neck. So your head will actually have to come forward during this exercise. And what I want you to think about during this exercise is actually turning your pinky into your body and squeezing that handle as hard as you can as you pull the weight down. And this will maximize the effectiveness of targeting that outside part of the bicep that we're looking for. Second on the list is the face curl. Now this can be performed on a TRX or the same exact machine that we were just on, except you would face the machine. So what we're doing is we're using our body as dead weight here. So we're holding the handles out, keeping our elbows up. And what we're doing is curling in the weight using only our bicep, meaning our butt has to stay pinched together our core has to be tight and our elbows have to stay up in a straight line parallel with the floor during this entire exercise or else you will lose that tension on the bicep. Now, if, if you were performing this on a cable, well, all you would do from the pull down is tuck your knees under like you were going to do a pull down, lean back just slightly, take a barbell attachment and just curl it into your face. Third on the list is the close grip easy bar curl. With this exercise, obviously because our hands are slightly turned in, we are still using a close grip, keeping our elbows out in front of our body so we don't have to use one of those arm blaster machines that everyone is going crazy about. Keeping our elbows in front, thinking about again, turning our pinky inside our body, squeezing that bar as hard as we can, focusing on using the bicep, no momentum here, just curling the way up on the way up. This will target the outside part of the bicep if you can focus on turning that palm back into your body. Fourth on the list is a Smith machine drag curl. Now on this exercise, make sure you go very light. It is very difficult exercise and very technical to perform. So what you're doing is you're grabbing the bar. You're going to kick your elbows back slightly while keeping your wrists slightly sagged, but also still tight. You're going to drag the bar up your body to the bottom of your chest, your sternum area, and you're going to squeeze the bicep incredibly hard at the top as you control the weight on the way back down. This is a very technical exercise, so make sure you have someone watching you so you can perform it correctly as you see in this video. Fifth on the list is our favorite, the dumbbell straight curl, keeping the weight together in the middle, keeping those elbows forward, just like we did on the close grip easy bar curl before. You will see that this is a very similar exercise for people who don't have an easy bar maybe, but want to reduce the pressure on their forearms. By keeping the weight together, keep it out in front of us, we're squeezing, we're thinking about turning that pinky as we push the dumbbells as hard as we can into each other to maximize the efficiency of this exercise. So to maximize your muscle building, guys, perform two to four exercises per workout, about two to four sets of eight to 12 reps. This will vary based on your experience level, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah,